Hi folks, Nathan here with the ebookreader.com. For this review, we've got the Kobo Libra H2O, uh, Kobo's latest model here. It's got a 7-inch, 300 PPI ink screen, has a front light with adjustable color temperature. I'll show that more here later. Uh, with the page buttons on one side, it does have the rotation sensor, so you can rotate it to portrait mode or landscape. You can just turn off, uh, lock it to portrait or landscape, but you can't turn the sensor off. Uh, so this it has the indented front screen here. It doesn't have a flush screen like the Kobo Forma. It's got kind of that flare for the handle where the buttons are. You've got the old school USB port down here. On the back, you got the power button. It's kind of indented a little bit, so it's not easy to accidentally press. Got a little bit of texture here, just slight rubbery coating on the back. Uh, it is waterproof as well. So here it is next to the larger Kobo Forma that Kobo released last year. It's got an 8-inch screen. It's got the flush front, and it's got a little bit more upgraded feel to it. It's a little bit more of a nicer device. Uh, the Libra, of course, quite a bit cheaper at $170. All right, so here's a look at the front light on the Kobo Libra H2O. Uh, it does have the cool light and the warm light that you can blend together, and you can also schedule it to transfer to the warm light as the day goes on. So I like the Libra quite a bit, but my biggest beef with it is the front light just doesn't look very good. The orange light is pretty nice, but the white, the cool light here, it's a lot brighter on the left side of the screen. You can really tell when you put it up to the Kindle Oasis, which has the nicest front light yet. I mean, the light on this particular Kobo I got, it's just not very good. Uh, I don't know. They can vary a lot from one to the next, so I don't have any idea what to tell you here, folks. But uh, the front light is not that great on this one that I got. Aside from that, I do enjoy reading on the device. I find it comfortable to hold with the buttons on the side there. I do like the fact that Kobo's releasing more models with buttons. They used to only have touchscreen only models. So this is a look at the home screen. Uh, you've also got your My Books list right here where it'll just uh, give you the list of your library view and you've got some different options. If you hold down on a title, uh, you got some different sorting options. You know, the usual kind of stuff on here. You've got the different author and you've got the different collections you can set up on here. You've got cover view if you want to switch over to just see the cover of your titles or you can go to the more detailed list view and you can navigate using the buttons or the on-screen arrows. Uh, so again, you got some different sorting options and filtering options. So this device, it does have the overdrive support built in like the other Kobos. So you can get your library books on here. Also has pocket support. So uh, if you like reading web articles on your devices, you can easily uh, transfer your pocket articles onto your Kobo. Um, in the settings menu here, we got some different things like uh, if you go into the beta features, you have a basic web browser. I mean, none of this stuff has really gotten better over the years. They used to have games, but for some reason they got rid of them. Uh, you've got the large print mode. So if you wanted to get the like the larger interface, you can do that. Uh, and, and then in here in the, the device settings or device information under developer options, uh, you can invert the screen. So this isn't an official feature, but you can go in here. I'm not sure. Some people said that this was on the newer firmware. I got it enabled by putting dev mode on in the search bar. Uh, you can find more about this on the ebook reader blog, but it should just show up now anyway with the newer software. But again, you can use inverted mode. Uh, it does get a little bit more uh, ghosting, I think, than the regular mode, but I know some people enjoy using this. So I'm a big fan of having page buttons, so I do like having the option here on the Kobo Libra. If you hold down the button, you can quickly scan through your pages. It'll go faster if you just, or you can just do the single press to go one page at a time. Of course, you can still use the touch screen to page forward if you wanted to. I don't know why you would with this design. It kind of hinders that. Uh, so Kobo's got this new navigation feature they introduced with the Libra here, uh, where you can sort of scan through the different pages of your book, um, and then you can jump back and forth. It shows like the back right there. You can just hit the link to go back and forth right there um, to your pages you're bouncing around. So, And you can also use the arrows to go from chapter to chapter. So they got some different navigating options here. The new window here that pops up. Uh, you also you got the usual search here. They used to have a limit on search results of 100, but they got rid of that quite a while ago. So um, the search does work well. You can go in through this list here, jump around through the different parts of your book. Uh, you can even, even just jump to the different search results, go back to your list. I do like how Kobo's search results work within books. So up in the settings menu up here, you can actually change the buttons. If you wanted the top one to go forward or the bottom one to go forward, you can change that here. And you've also got the different tap zones. Oh, if you uh, if you want to adjust the front light just by swiping uh, along the left side of the screen, you can do that as well. It'll tell you up there at the top in the header the brightness level you're currently at. So that's kind of a cool shortcut on the Kobo is being able to adjust the front light just by swiping up and down the left side of the screen. So you got some additional settings in here. So they got this new layout with their headers and footers, and you can set the uh, you know your chapter progress, your book progress on the header and footer. You can also turn the header and footer off if you don't want to view them. You want to get more text on the screen. Uh, again, you can lock the rotation sensor to portrait or landscape, uh, and then you can change set the uh, refresh frequency for when it does a full page refresh. Uh, again, you got the usual you know notes, highlights. 
Uh, when you hold down on a word, you'll get the uh, dictionary pop up. Uh, it comes with a few dictionaries pre installed. You can install some others as well from the settings menu. So you can add text notes to your highlights. You can uh, also run searches from here. Uh, so Kobo's have a good range of font sizes. Here's a really small font size here. It's not even the smallest, if you can believe that. Uh, so they got like 48 different sizes, and you can go in here and adjust the font weight. If you want to get bolder text or if you just want it a little bit clearer, you can go back. Um, and then you've also got the different font choices. So it comes with a good set of fonts. You can also load your own fonts on here. Um, so you got a good... Uh, amount of line spacing and margin settings a little bit more than some of the other devices out there like the Kindles that only give you three options. Kobo's have always had a good amount of layout options. This is Kobo's format. They also support uh, EPUB of course and you know CBR files, PDFs. They aren't that great for PDFs um, just simply because the, the software doesn't have very many features but some people still use it for that. So again I just don't like the front light on this particular unit. It looks terrible but I mean others might look better. Just sort of one of those things with the front light lottery you think they get them better after all these years but I do really like the seven inch screen. Uh, it's definitely nice for just the way the text lays out on it and if you want to use larger you know font sizes here you can fit more text on the screen. You also get rid of the header and footer if you want to even fit more text. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review right here. Check out the ebookreader.com for the full written review. I also have some comparison reviews up and like the reviews of the other Kobo models like the Claire HD and you also got the larger 8-inch Forma. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.